Hi there, Doc Robin here with your weekly energy update. If you're with me live, say hello in the comments. And if you're watching the recording, let me know that too, so I can come back in and say, hi, how are you doing today? Can you believe it's already the 10th of January? This is really a an early time in the year, but it's such an important time as well. It's really a time of tone setting. And that's what we want to do today on this energy report is to talk about the energy of setting the tone consciously, of calibrating yourself to your highest timelines, and to then insisting that, not in a control freak way, by the way, but insisting that the universe calibrates to you. This is something that I've been working on for a while now, and I am constantly surprised and delighted by the results that I receive when I calibrate to my highest level timelines and then insist, intend, command that the world calibrates to me as well, not in a narcissistic way, but in a way that surprises and delights me. And that's your invitation this week as well. Today, by the way, is a great day to finish up anything that you've had left outstanding from your end of the year cleanup, clean up your inbox. I've never been one to go to inbox zero. Maybe you are, but uh, clean up your inbox, donate anything that needs to be no donated, throw away anything that needs to be thrown away and shred anything that's asking to be shredded simply because today is a day to complete those tasks because we've got fresh new energy Coming on the scene tomorrow, it's 111 tomorrow, January 11th tomorrow. And if you're watching this while this week is taking place, it's just, just a really exciting time that we have coming forward in a sense of new beginnings, planting new seeds and moving new energy into our experience. So I'm really looking forward to that. Um, what do I have coming up? We are still talking about and enrolling people in becoming the channel. That is for spiritual entrepreneurs, leaders, and CEOs who oftentimes have ADHD, like I do, uh, but who also have the capability to channel high frequencies, channel creativity, channel wisdom, channel consciousness in a way that is innovative, that is unique, and that is really powerful at this time in the world. So if that's something that you want to talk about with me, I want you to just book a call. And I will say this is fun right now. It's 1111 as I'm talking about this. So how fun is that? Uh, book a call with me, drrobinmckay.com forward slash call, and we'll have a conversation about the new program that I have becoming the channel, which is a six month commitment to you to learning how to channel wealth consciousness and to do so with ease and grace in a way that allows you to attract, receive, hold, and transmit financial abundance as well as other, all the other types of abundance as well. It's a very powerful program. It's really the culmination of all the work I've done over the past 22 years, 23 years, maybe at this point, since I started my spiritual journey and, um, it's just such a precious time to do this work. I'm excited about becoming the channel. It is a container that ooh, is, it's just powerful there. We are going to be going to Sedona for a private retreat for, for you, you who are really curious about the diamond level, the highest level of working with me. We will be in Sedona for a retreat and um, have lots of private time with me as well, as well as getting enrollment in channel school, which is where you learn all the nuances of channeling high frequencies. So including wealth consciousness. So again, set up a call to chat with me about that. drrobinmckay.com forward slash call. And I would look forward to having that conversation with you. Now on with the reading. Let's see what the guides have today. I'm pulling three cards. Oh, there we go, right there, that one. This is so cute. The guides are so fun. I can't tell you how many times, I clear this deck every time before I use it. And every time, two of these three cards have come up. Okay, so the first one is 
the sisterhood of the rose. This is this is a part of the new beginning that's actually starting in tomorrow. That's why it's so important to clear the decks today to just finish up everything. Clean your desk off, clean your desktop off your computer and get yourself sorted for tomorrow because tomorrow's a big day, big day, big portal. Uh, the sisterhood of the rose represents beauty and devotion. It's an invitation into the priestess process, into you acknowledging yourself as a mystic, as an intuitive, as somebody who is, in addition to being a leader, perhaps in the corporate space or in the entrepreneurial space, that you're actually quite connected with divine source energy. And it's part of your right and your responsibility to be channeling those frequencies now and in the future. So this card, the Sisterhood of the Rose, is all about stepping into your own conscious awareness as the priestess, the mystic, and the teacher. How's that for a big card to start this new, new era? The next one goes right along with this, and this is the Share Your Voice card. You see she's sitting there in a cave kind of hiding. One of the things, here's the thing, with spiritual entrepreneurs, leaders, and CEOs, we have a lot of thoughts. We have a lot of ideas. We have a lot of insights. And there's a, there's a visibility piece that can be very difficult for us. There's a, there's a part, in part, I think it's probably generational and genetic, just about not wanting to be seen being raised to not be too big for your britches, to be raised to not be the tall poppy because you know the tall poppy is the one who gets their heads cut off. Um, under certain circumstances, but really, you know, there, this is a time to overcome that experience and to begin sharing your voice with the world, sharing your voice in things like Instagram lives and Facebook lives, sharing your voice in your blogs, in your podcasts, sharing your voice in a way that transmits the frequencies of hope, the frequencies of truth, of love, of transformation, because those frequencies are actually what are being of high service to bring heaven to earth, which is ultimately your role and your responsibility. So come out of the cave, heal the wounds around sharing your voice, heal the trauma around sharing your voice, heal the trauma around being visible. And this comes up at different levels. Even people who I work with privately, people who I and colleagues within masterminds who are at very high levels of business will come forward every once in a while and saying, I'm bumping up against visibility. I'm bumping up against what people will actually think of me if I step fully into who I am as an intuitive, as a spiritual teacher, as a channel. What will they think of me? And there is this sense of contraction that can happen around that. And that's what's calling to be healed right now. You are not meant to stay in contraction. You are meant to examine that and use that energy as an invitation to deepen your commitment to the work that you're meant to be doing here and now. So come out of the cave. Heal. Heal from that fear of visibility. Heal, heal from that. And that can go way back. That can go way back into your childhood, actually. I remember I was probably 15, maybe 14, and I was in one of those Miss, whatever, Miss South Dakota pageants for teens. And I got first runner up. I was very proud of myself. I was very happy and very excited. But right after the event finished, I was to go to basketball camp. And my mom said, well, let's change out of your gown before you go to basketball camp. I said, oh, no, no, I'm so excited. I'm just going to go like this. It'll be fine. Oh, you would not believe the razzing that I got, the bullying that I received as a re result of showing up to basketball camp in my award-winning gown that I, that I had won first runner-up in. And, you know, let that be a lesson to me, but... It was also something that stayed with me for a long, long time as in terms of my own fear of visibility and fear of what people would think or fear if I showed up as myself, because really, truly, that was myself, even at 14, even at 14. I was so fully expressed in that moment. I showed up in this place with all the teenage girls who were not fully expressed and quite frankly, quite uh, probably traumatized just from the world. And I received something that I didn't expect. 
And that was something that I had to work to, to move through, to heal that trauma in order for me to show up in highly visible places and to be at my best as a leader, I had to heal that. So maybe you have something like that, but it is time to heal. The last one, and this is why I was chuckling so much, the last card of the series for this week is the Pleiades. The, Ple the Pleiadian guides are here. They're with us and they are calling us to a double mission. They're calling us to the mission of channeling, to no great surprise, and to uplifting humanity. So remember, I talked about my new, my new program, Becoming the Channel, that this is a card that comes up again and again when I'm doing readings for people, when I'm touching in with them about the program. Is this, this idea of channeling is something that is brand new probably to our community. It's not something that I've talked about in the past, but it is something that I want to be clear about. If you are intuitive, you are intelligent, you might have ADHD, chances are quite good that you are quite an effective channel already. You're channeling something. It could be creativity. It could be innovation. It could be leadership. But there are always new levels, new frequencies that are ready to come through you, including wealth consciousness, including the, the spiritual evolution of your soul, which is really what we're dealing with here, more so than we are dealing with corporate leadership or leading other people or anything like that. It really is the evolution of your soul. So that's it's so interesting that this Pleiades card comes up again. And they really, these guides have been very instrumental in helping me create the Becoming the Channel program. And they work with me almost every night. They're inviting me to get up in the early hours of the morning and work with them. And I've been doing some channeled writing that I share in channel school, actually. Um, there will be a book coming out of this as well that is work with the Polydian guides who are here with us and who are inviting you into that as well. So with that, that is our reading for the week. It is a big week. It's a big energy week of new beginnings, time to plant seeds, time to today, especially say goodbye to the things that are no longer serving you. Say goodbye to the old version of yourself that is ready to, ready to evolve, ready to move out and calling in the new levels of your consciousness who are here now waiting in the wings to step in and to move you forward on your own mission, which according to this card has a whole lot to do with channeling and uplifting humanity. So you can be in that spirit of that today. I have enjoyed being here with you today. Uh, I also want to put a, I want to put in a request. I'm going to be doing a whole lot more with the podcast this year. So if you don't subscribe to the podcast yet, go to your favorite podcast platform, whether it's iTunes or Spotify or wherever it is, we're on all of the major platforms. Mindset RX. It's my podcast for spiritual entrepreneurs, leaders, and CEOs who think they have ADHD. Go over there and subscribe to it because a lot of the things that are going to be coming through this year are going to be initiated through the podcast. So you're not going to want to miss an episode. It'll be a lot of fun over there. And if you feel called to leave a review, I appreciate it. And I know that it'll help a whole lot of people. The more we have this movement of, of supporting the podcast. It's a rocket ship and you're invited to be on it with me. All right. Big love until next time. And I will see you, you who are probably meant to be in the Becoming the Channel program. I will talk to you soon on a call so we can talk about the details. All right. Ciao, ciao.